Welcome back tonight. One of the key players who made the reconstruction of I-4 possible says that the state is driving people away from the toll lanes and hampering the collection of revenue that could be used to pay for the project. Watch 2 News investigative reporter Greg Fox has this exclusive follow-up to his report on the I-4 Express. In early November, West 2 investigates first revealed that no drivers had been punished for driving on the I-4 Express toll lanes without a transponder, despite signs all over the highway warning of $25 fines. Instead, FDOT captures pictures of license plates and is sending violators a bill for the toll plus a $2.50 service charge, according to the local FDOT secretary. There is no toll enforcement. Well, Greg, we're not we're not assessing the $25 toll violation if you don't have a transponder. Millions of dollars in fines that could have been reinvested in I-4 will never be collected. From February 2022 through August 2023, 340,000 vehicles have committed express lane toll violations. The $25 fines not levied add up to $8.5 million. That money would be used to offset the cost of the project for sure. Following our initial report, one of the major players in getting the I-4 Ultimate funded and built says he's not happy with the fact that the tolls are not being enforced as the state initially said it would. Uh, I, I was dumbfounded. John Micah is the former District 7 congressman from Winter Park, who says he helped secure about half of the money that went into the $2.3 billion I-4 Ultimate reconstruction project. He believes the threat of fines is just driving people away from the toll lanes and that ridership would increase if the warning signs were removed and toll by plate was allowed. There is no reason that they can't toll by plate. We do it all over the state. You'd have millions in additional revenue and now uh, people don't use it and they don't enforce the fine. So there's no revenue coming in and there should be uh, people using it all the time. A spokesperson for FDOT tells West 2 Investigates, as for the $25 toll violation charge, there has been no change since we last discussed it. Right now, the state charges 50 cents per segment on the I-4 Express. It has yet to start dynamic tolling, charging more when traffic is heavy and less when it's light. The spokesperson added, FDOT does not yet have a date for the start of dynamic tolling on I-4 Express. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. The state is moving beyond the I-4 Ultimate with construction well underway to add a new westbound lane from roughly near Universal Studios to Highway 536.